Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with a video on software defined radio. Um, in this video, I have a setup that I have connected multiple US uh, SDR devices. As you can clearly see on my Linux PC, I have my Atlum Pluto SDR which is connected. I have my SDR Angel on on my right uh, on my right hand side. On my left hand side, I have my Mac that is connected to that is connected to my RTL SDR dongle. Or oh, and also my hack RF as well. So we're gonna try to see how many devices, how many receiving devices I can connect on my uh, using on a single PC. So my computer has two USB ports. So one port is connected to my hack RF. The other port is connected to my RTL SDR dongle. And um, I tried using different software, but SDR Angel is the one that allows me to connect multiple so transmitting and receiving devices simultaneously, depending on the USB ports. Uh, this PC has two USB ports, so that's why I have only connected two devices. Otherwise, I could have connected three devices, Adlum, Pluto, SDR, and things like that. So for that purpose, I'm using SDR Angel. So I'm going to connect these devices in a receiving mode. Uh, so I have uh, simply go to add receiving devices. I'll just choose this, hack RF, or I can, I can, I can do this. To refresh the list so I have my hack RF that is connected I think I also have my GQ RX is running let me just turn this off uh, it's off so the first device that is hack RF that is connected and it's connected at 435 megahertz I'm gonna leave this as is and then I'm gonna try to connect another device uh, which is going to be my RTL SDR dongle so for that purpose what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to my ad receiving devices as well I'm gonna refresh the list and I'm gonna see if I if this comes up. Uh, so just give me a minute. I'm gonna refresh this list. Let's see. I have this device that is coming up. Okay. All right. So when you actually refresh the list you will see my rtl sdr dongle as well so i'm just going to connect my rtl sdr dongle as well so i have my rtl sdr dongle this is the controller and uh, i'm going to bring this controller right over on this side i'm going to leave this as is for hack rf and i'm going to make this a little bit smaller uh, a little bit wider and bring this in and we'll try to see what can i do with it uh, so in this way you can connect multiple devices multiple receiving or transmitting devices using hack rf or in our case in my case is going to be hack rf and rtl sdr dongle so in order for you to actually start receiving your signal just simply press play so this will start receiving signal at 435 megahertz so this is two different devices which is connected to a same pc and i also have this rtl sdr dongle that is connected to my another usb port just to check and see everything is working properly, I'm going to change this frequency to 935 megahertz uh, because, and I'm going to improve again a little bit. Here we go. And let me just cut. So here we go. And I'm going to change this to 935 megahertz as well. And I'm going to play around with the gain. So I can see this. Here we go, 945, I'm gonna change this to 945 as well. So here we go. So everything is working perfectly fine. Uh, both of my receiving devices are configured on the same PC, as you can clearly see here. Now the next step is going to do, what I'm gonna do, on my right hand side, I have my hack uh, Adlum Pluto SDR that is connected. So I'm gonna try to transmit a wideband FM modulating signal, uh, which I'm gonna do through my Adlum Pluto SDR. So for that purpose, I have just chosen a transmitting device to be Pluto SDR. I went into the channel. I have selected as a wideband uh, frequency modulator. And I'm going to use my speaker audio input. And I'm going to try to transmit that. So once I start transmitting it, I'm going to transmit that at 435 megahertz. For that purpose, I'm just going to hit play. Uh, because this is already selected. My speaker is on every time I speak. Every time I'll speak, it will start just transmitting that signal. 
So let me just play this. Hello, hello. You can also hear the same thing over on this side as well. So let me change this frequency to 435 megahertz. 435, 435 here on my receiving device as well. And you can clearly see that you are indeed receiving something at 435 megahertz, which is going to be that transmission that is being transmitted from my Adlum Pluto SDR. So you can clearly see this on the spectrum here. And uh, 435 is being modulated using wideband frequency modulation. And over here, we're receiving it with HEC RF and my RTLSDR dongle. Now, the next step is I can do is this. Let me just close this up and I can also use another application. So I'm just going to leave this as is. And I'm going to open my GQRX, which is also another software that you can use. But SDR is the only, SDR Angel is the only software where you can configure multiple devices because it allows you to have MIMO capability as well. So I'm just going to simply start my GQRX. Now, uh, what GQRX will do, so basically what we're trying to do, we're trying to receive the same transmission using GQRX. So I'll just simply go here. And I've chosen this device to be RTL dongle. You can select your hack RF, uh, anything you want, but I'm using RTL SDR dongle in a receiving site because I'm already receiving uh, using SDR Angel, which is running in the background. And once I start this, let me just turn off the DMOD. There we go. So you can clearly see in GQRX that indeed you are receiving. So let me try to close this and. Uh, uh, stop this transmission and you won't see anything on this on my screen so I'll start this so this is what you're observing using on GQRX uh, this is what you're observing on your uh, RTL SDR dongle so let me just turn off this transmission as well you won't see that signal when I turn it on you will see that signal turn it off you will see this this is getting wider and when I turn this on so this is where the transmission is happening. So basically, whatever the voice that I'm transmitting, as you can clearly see from there as well, and from here as well, that you are actually basically receiving that in your SDR Angel and in your GQRX. So in this way, using GQRX, you can you can connect multiple devices. Uh, you can configure multiple devices. That only allows my SDR Angel. I haven't seen any other software that does that. If you do know of any other software that does that, uh, just do let me know. I'll give it a try. So this is how you basically configure multiple devices. And uh, if I had more USB port, I could have connected more devices with the, on a single device and try to show you the functionality of it. So sometimes because you want to receive different type of signals, you can use these uh, SDR Angel to receive different signals using a single uh, computer or a single device. So I hope you like this small tutorial on this. If you have any questions, leave it in a comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.